Hey there my friend, in this video we will learn how to set up AWS CLI from scratch in just 5 minutes. We will learn how to install the AWS CLI in your operating system, then we will create an IAM user, then we will configure the CLI and then we will test it and I'll show you how you can use it to interact with different AWS services. So I have written up a blog, so this is the blog which I will link, it is simply learnaws.io slash blog slash AWS CLI setup. Oh no, what have I done? All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to install AWS CLI. So what we will use is Homebrew. If you are running Linux or Mac OS, you can simply copy this script and run it in your terminal and it will install uh, Homebrew in your system. I already have Homebrew, so you can see uh, I might have uninstalled it and not configured properly, but I use uh, Arch Linux. So you can simply just copy and run this command if you are on Arch Linux, but I am assuming most of you are not. So you can simply install it via Homebrew. So if I go here, you can simply just the same script I have pasted. Then after that, all you need to do is brew install AWS CLI and your AWS CLI will be installed. So as you can see in this image, this is how it will look. I had installed this and if you are running on Windows, you need to uh, run this in your PowerShell. So you will copy this script. So this is via Chocolatey. So you simply copy and execute it in your PowerShell. Make sure you are running the PowerShell as administrator. Then you can simply just do Choco install AWS CLI and you will have to say yes or all and then it will install AWS CLI in your Windows operating system. If none of this method works in your Windows, if the chocolate tea method does not work, this is how like you will get to see. And you can follow this tutorial if you want to manually install the CLI using the GUI. So this is the tutorial uh, here you can see. Yes, these are the steps. So here you will get the installer and click on next and click on install and you will be done. It's pretty easy. So now what we need to do is we need to go to IAM user console. So we will create a user. We learned how to create IAM user in our previous video. So I'll simply log in. So here I have all the users. So I'll simply add another user called my AWS, my CLI user, okay? And I'll click on next. Uh, I am not giving it AWS console access. So I'll click on next. And here we have the permissions which we want to gi give. So I can simply copy the permission from my another CLI user. It has administrator access. And I'll click on next and I'll click on create user. So our AWS CLI user has been created as you can see. Now, if I go here, I see this permission, okay? If I zoom in a bit, uh, you can see better, okay? Now here you need to go in security credentials. We will have to generate access key and secret. So once you have the AWS CLI installed, you can just run AWS and you will get to see this or you can just see AWS dash dash version and you should have AWS CLI V2, okay? And now I'll click on create access key and I will select command line and alternate way is using cloud shell, but I understand and I'll click on next. You can put some description here for the tag. I'll just click on create and this is the secret key and access key. Now to set it up, we need, uh, I have same followed the same steps here. You can follow here as well, or you can just follow this video. Make sure you copy this. Uh, if you are not uh, configuring it right now, we will configure it right now. You can also download a CSV file, so yes. Okay, now what we will do is we will run this command, AWS configure. Okay, so there are two things here. So the configure command can take an argument for profile. So if a uh, user, uh, we want to specify like if we are managing multiple AWS account, what we can do is we can specify a profile. So I'll specify this profile. Now I'll be asked to enter 
uh, let me clear this up now i'll run it and i will copy this the access key and i'll hit enter and i'll again copy the secret and i'll enter so default region i can make it us east one and default output uh, i can make it json or yaml so let's uh, stick with json because we can do a lot with json okay that's it so now uh, how do we know if our aws cli has been configured properly or not to test it we can simply run aws sts get caller identity uh, it's taking some time and it says unable to look locate your credential but we already had the profile set up but it is under a different name if you want to set up different profile just remove this but i'll show you where the aws credentials are stored so i'll open aws this is aws and here in credentials you can see we have the access key and secret in our home directory and here is our profile okay so what we can do is we can um, make it a default so it's not uh, recommended to manually edit this but if you want you can do that so here i can you know make a profile for default user so i'll just say default and i'll save it and here as well i'll duplicate this i'm just showing this so that you know how to manage your default and other profiles as well so i'll keep it default okay if i would have run the command without the profile arg i would have gotten the same response so let's call this again and there you go so this is the user which we created this is the account id and this is the access key if you look here okay so if you want to configure you know use a separate profile like we have here so we can specify it like this aws profile cli user or you can also do aws uh, and list so here you you will get to see a default profile so type none location none this is the access key this is the region and this is the location of your config file it is inside home and aws config so this is how you can easily set up your aws cli and if you go to aws configure and uh, you can get our list profiles so if you will get to see all the profiles so one is default one is cli user all right and you can do a lot more things so if you just do aws s3 ls uh, we will also learn aws s3 so you can see how powerful this is if you want to list iem users so you can do that from here as well aws iem list users so this will show us all the users which we have created in our iem so you don't have to leave your terminal and you can automate this using bash and other programming languages at the end everything is getting called via aws api whether you do it from cli or via console so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like share and subscribe and if you want to join the aws master class the link is in the description you can just go to learn aws.io and join the master class where i will be teaching you the ins and outs of aws